Welcome to American English in a Minute. Starting the day is never fun. Everybody has to take a shower. Hopefully, every day. Since we take a shower every day, let's talk about it the right way. Hopefully, you're washing your body correctly, and now you can speak about it correctly as well. Dan pulls the shower curtain shut. By turning the knob, he turns the water on. The water comes out of the shower head. He washes his hair with shampoo, and the rest of his body with soap. And he uses a bar of soap, not liquid soap. Then he rinses off with water. After turning the water off, he steps out of the shower and onto the bath mat. The bath mat keeps the floor dry. He takes a towel from the towel rack. Then he dries himself off. He wraps a towel around himself, and he dries his hair with a blow dryer. And finally, he puts some deodorant under his arms. Showering is very easy to do, but it's also very important. So take your time and do a good job. Here are a few things for your special attention. We use dry off only if the water stays on top of the thing that is wet. You don't dry off your hair or a towel. You dry them or dry them out. But you do dry off your car after you wash it. Pull something shut means to pull it until it is shut. Pull the car door shut, please. Take some students out of your classroom. The others are the rest of the class, the people who are still in the room. After you turn something on, it runs or it works. After you turn it off, it stops. The best example I can think of is a computer. And finally, a deodorant is something that takes away bad smells, while an antiperspirant prevents you from sweating. All that glitters is not gold. 반짝이는 모든 것이 금은 아니다. You can find this and many other videos on my YouTube channel, Kaizen Teaching.